All right, this is called Lake. We play as a male person, or a male lady to be exact, in, uh, back in the 80s. And we're going back into the 80s because I guess we're a software engineer. And 1986. It's funny how the program designed to help organize your life. Is the reason why I can't be in a Labor Day party. I hope I can't hear her voice. But I'm glad we made the deadline. I'm glad we could spend two stress-free weeks. Uh, Old Providence Oak. It's funny how we could program. Oh, okay. Oh, she just Hello. typed it down. There it is, Chief. Uh, hope I didn't wake you up. I just came home and was wondering if everything worked out all right. Hi, Steve. Yes, we made the deadline. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, I feel so bad you couldn't make it. Hope you guys had a nice Labor Day party. Oh, yes. I mean, the band was great, and Mike fell in the pool. <laughs> oh, and then Roy got really sick. No, wait, Brian. And then he fell in the pool, too. And no, no Roy, that's hilarious. Uh, ah, well, I'll tell you all about it at work tomorrow morning. Well, <laughs> afternoon. I, I won't be there for two weeks, remember? Oh, wait, yeah, but, uh, do you really have to? <laughs> Two weeks is a lifetime. Yeah, Steve, I really have to. But I will continue testing for at it. Oh, okay, right, awesome. Um, you know, I better get some sleep now. My plane leaves early in the morning. Okay, Meredith, have a wonderful flight. I, I'll talk to you soon. Man, she must be living a life, especially having that lavish apartment in Schnapple. Providence Oak, Oregon, September Thanks 1st. Thanks so for picking me up, Mr. Coleman. Mr. Coleman? Please, just call me Frank. We're colleagues now, after all. Oh, okay, Frank. Thanks so much for making time for me on Labor Day. No problem, Meredith. Postal workers always have each other's back. Your dad helped me dozens of times whenever I was in a bit of a pickle. Well, I hope I can fill his shoes. He hardly ever missed a day. I'm sure you'll do great. You know what? While we're on route... Why don't we deliver some mail in our beautiful little lake town? And show me the ropes? Sure. All right, then. Get ready to roll. Get ready to roll, baby. That looks like an axe right there. Yeah, let's do this, baby. It's called the lake house. Not the lake house, but not that certain lake house. The whole Keanu Reeves. This is called Lake. This lake, it's always more beautiful than I remember it. You're getting the hang of it. So, where were we? Computers. Should I buy one? Uh, well, it depends on what you want to use it for. Book Porn! I always make a mess of my tax returns. Can't a computer do that for me? Sure, there are for that, but you'll still have to put in some work yourself. I was afraid you were going to say that. And I'll porn. about it another time. Next address is right around the corner. Nice. <sighs> There's no place like home. Sure isn't. Can't wait to get home either. The Mets are playing the Giants. Oh, before I get out, what time do I start tomorrow? 7 a.m. sharp. Just check in at the post office. Okay, Frank. See you tomorrow. Adios. Adios. Walk to the front door of your house. Nope, I'm going back home. See you later, Frank. I ain't gonna wake up at 7 a.m. I ain't got no Amazon package to deliver. I ain't gonna do that ish. All right, see ya. Now isn't the time to leave Providence Oaks. Uh, yeah, it is always a good time. Let's go to our neighbor's house, actually. Oh, yep, perfect. Let's steal this truck. Oh, wow. I actually am driving this truck. Can I hit cars? Can I hit other cars? Hello? I'm here to... Oh, do I have to grab a package, though? Where's the package? Yeah, I don't have one, okay? Let me let me go grab a package. This is the first time being on the job, and I don't know what to do. General store. Uh, where are we at? Oh, we're on Main Street, right? Ooh, yeah, we're on Main Street. Yeah, it's probably drugs. That's the 80s. Pablo Escobar was still alive. 
Oh shit, she's smoking, son. That means you're cool. Can I help you? Uh oh, here's today's mail. Mm, new in town. Your face looks familiar. Yeah. Well, I grew up here and then left for college 22 years ago. <sighs> 22 years ago, back when they called me Nancy Sinatra instead of Nancy Reagan. Ooh. So now you're back, huh? I know what it's like. You do? It's best not to feel bad about it. Only a few people ever really make it. I wonder if it's gonna rain today. It's been raining a lot lately. Well, that was the worst conversation ever. Oh, ha <laughs> ha Hello, you waiting for me? You waiting for me, old lady? You waiting for me, huh? You waiting for me? How about you, old man? Oh, it's also a woman. Is this town just ran by women? That's another woman who drives. Is this the only man? It's that only guy. All right, there you go. As a male person, I should know where to deliver. I remember this is the old Sugarman place, but uh, the envelope says McGill. Must have moved away. Yeah, he did. He died. Sugarman died. Yeah, oh, I did it. I did it. I did it. Oh my god, there's so many cats over here. Is this a crazy cat lady? Oh my god. Oh, look, Genevieve. A new mailman. Hello there. What's your name then? Uh, your mama. I miss Jenkins, right? Hi, Miss Jenkins, right? I'm Meredith. Meredith Weiss? Weiss, of course! You're Emily's girl. Oh, you know me now. This is Meryl Weiss, Genevieve. She used to live in town years and years ago. It's Meredith. Want to be. One. It's Meredith. Want, it, want the cat to get it wrong. Ha <laughs> ha. 22 years to be exact, but who's counting? <laughs> Has it been that long? That's almost oh, two Genevieve's ago. Oh my god. Calm down, Genevieve. You're going to live forever. She is, but shh. You do remember me, don't you? Of course, you're the cat lady. How could I forget, Miss... <sighs> How could I forget Miss Mildred Jenkins? And her cats, of course. Seems like they've multiplied. Yes, I do like cats. Is that such a crime? Yes. So what if I have slightly more of them than I used to? Like Genevieve here, and Thomas, and Oliver. Tree. Anyway, did you have a package for me then? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, oh. Yes, here you go. Ah, thank you, dear. Looks like another gift from my son. Still doing everything to get into my good graces, except actually drop by. I won't keep you any longer. Run along, dear. Give Emily my best. Damn, what a Goodbye, bitch. Miss Jenkins. Genevieve. I'm not even holding the cat anymore, cunt. All right, now I gotta walk all the way back down there. Being a male person sucks. Alright, exit out of this vehicle. 300 Lake Road. Give me some of that road, baby. Alright, there you go. Pick up. That's a gun where I shoot my face with it. Oh. Yeah, it's like a place Hi full there. of women. I've got some mail for this address. You're not Frank. Luckily, I don't think a mustache would suit me. Haha, <laughs> real funny. But that doesn't explain why Frank gave you the keys for the goose. The, the goose. goose? Yes, your white and wobbly van. Oh shit, she got a Ghostbuster shirt I'm on. Worried. I'm Providence Oaks mechanic. And I'm the one who keeps the goose running. Well, Thomas oh, is my Oh snap. Father. Who is Does calling me right into this hour? Yes, Hello? Surely counts. Hey. Oh, nothing. Just recording a game called The Lake, and I play as a male woman, and pretty sure there's only one male 
and this whole town, and I guarantee you all of them are lesbians. Interesting. Yeah, it's you. Pl you you're like a uh, software engineer back in software engineering back in a uh, 1986. Okay, so a more difficult software engineer. I don't know. Do you think software engineering has gotten more difficult or easier? I think easier. I would think so too, but I don't know anything about it. So. Yes. Okay. Thanks. I just delivered a package, and I don't mean it in a sexual way, but but hey, I mean she's kind of cute, and she's the town mechanic, so I wouldn't mind. Uh, there's a porn o called uh, Junkyard Dykes, and uh, it's a real thing, and <laughs> and uh, that's what it just reminded me of. Um, I'm not entirely sure how to respond to that bit of information. Yes. Oh snap, Moe's Diner, baby. It's you, all right. Well, hello, Maureen. Well, hello to you too, Maureen. Oh, don't be like that now. It suits you. Age only makes a person more distinguished, is what I always say. To the mirror. Oh, uh, 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 uh. Tell me everything. Uh. Okay. One quick drink then. I oh, know you're busy, huh? Little Bird told me all about your temporary mail job already. News goes around pretty quickly around here. So, coffee? Something stronger? I warn you, I will not take no for an answer. It's like I'm 17 again, Maureen. Coffee sounds good. Coffee sounds good. Thanks. Two coffee coming right up. And one piece of blueberry pie, if I remember correctly. Uh, you have uh, uh. one almost every afternoon after school at one point. <laughs> you know me too well. Maybe oh, too well, you know Maureen. Too well, Maureen. Always have, always will. Ashley, one blueberry pie. What? And Ashley, could you keep an eye on the bar for me for a bit? I'm gonna take my break now. You're a real trooper. Nice. Ashley? Oh, sweet Mary. What are you doing? Uh, is everything okay, hon? Alright, so we're in Main Street. And there's only one package for Main Street. Ooh, that's heavier than I VHS thought. VHS and Betamax. Oh, snap. The Flick Shack? I wouldn't mind flicking some. Back to the present. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to the Flick Shack. How can I help you? Got a package for you, ma'am. The B. Hold on, you're our new postal worker. Talk about not looking the part. Huh? I could say the same thing about you, bitch. <laughs> is that a compliment? Trust me, it definitely is. Well, thank you then. Name's Meredith, by the way. Meredith Weiss. Angie Eastman. So, what brings you to Providence Oaks? I'm here to fuck and suck. Yep, that would be smack dab in the middle of it. What brings you here? I used to live someplace else, then I moved here. Hmm. Touche, Mrs. Eastman. Miss. Oh, shit. So, your dream was to rent out videotapes? Not a dream, per se. More like a vision. <laughs> Figured in a sleepy town like this, people don't have much to do anyways. Might as well watch a flip, right? You certainly have a lot of them. Well, other than enjoy the scenery. Scenery schmeery. Why stare at a boring lake when you can go to outer space and watch the Death Star get blown up? Star Wars. Hmm. Maybe I should watch more movies. Yeah, you yeah. should. It was nice meeting you. Then you guys fuck. Eastman. Please fuck. Please fuck. Angie. And here, someone just returned this, and it should be right up your alley. Oh, well, something's gonna be up my. This rings twice. <sighs> Little on the nose, don't you think? Well, I don't know anything else about you, Mrs. Temporary Postal Worker. <laughs> <laughs> Miss, but. 
to Shay. Anna G. Shit. I see some sexual tension up in this. Sexual will seduction. A sexual seduction. All right. I'll check it out if I have the time. Well, take your time. This isn't exactly the most popular flick in the shack. And there's plenty of choice, regardless. Ghost blasters. Okay. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Angie. Sexual will seduction. Oh, shit. Sexual will seduction. Oh, where'd she go? Oh, shit. Hey, yo. I'm gonna follow you around. Hope you like the postman always rings twice. You only have to watch it once. <laughs> Sexual seduction. 